we're talking about everybody's favorite thing today, Redbubble. Hi friends, welcome to the highly anticipated Redbubble Q&A. So I have been selling on Redbubble for around three months now, since uh, mid-April of this year, I would say. And I thought it was about time that I answer some of your burning questions about it. As many of you surely know, I post monthly Redbubble updates on my shop, my sales, my revenue, and I also make videos about my other passive sources of income, and you should definitely go check those out. That being said, my third month on Redbubble video will be posted at the end of this week, so make sure to stay tuned for that. You guys have asked me a lot of questions on my past Redbubble and passive source of income videos, and I'm here to answer them today. Disclaimer, I will be looking at my laptop decorated by Redbubble stickers, and I'll be reading your questions. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so question number one is, I have a question. How do you earn slash accept the money earned through Redbubble if you're under 18? Do you need to be 18 to have a credit card and earn the money? Or is it just deposited into your account? Okay. Yes, you need to be 18 to have a credit card, at least where I live. Uh, I think that's pretty clear, but I don't think that's what you were asking. Anyway, I am 17, as most of you know, and this is a really good question. So uh, Redbubble pays out artists through PayPal, like a lot of other sources of income that I have. And because of that, I use my mom's PayPal account, and when I get a deposit, she sends it over to me. So pretty simple answer. Okay, this next one kind of cracks me up because I knew somebody was inevitably going to ask me this and it is, why do I see on your shop that you joined in 2021? That is because I buy Christmas presents every single year for my family and friends on Redbubble and that little note at the top of my shop does not say when the shop started, it's when I created my account. So I've had my account since 2021. I have had my shop since April of this year. If you choose not to believe that, I can show you proof, but I really don't think that's necessary. Okay, <laughs> this next one is a really, really good question actually, and it is, how do I create designs for Redbubble? It's a bit of a loaded one, I know. And so I am gonna probably make an entire video about this if you guys are interested, but basically I use Canva to make my designs, like a lot of people do, I know, but you do have to be very, very careful with copyright stuff over there and it is better to have Canva Premium or Canva Pro, I believe. And that is why most of my designs simply utilize their fonts and text because your girl does not want to get copyrighted until I get my iPad in the fall slash late summer when I can actually draw my own stuff, I will be continuing to use Canva. It's a really great resource for Redbubble creators. This next person also asked about design platforms, but they also asked about tagging on Redbubble, which is basically adding like hashtags, I would say. That's like what it's equivalent to. And they can help to, you know, utilize search engine capabilities and all that and put your designs into a niche. Anyway, that's my understanding. And they asked, Thank you for the information. I want to ask you some questions if you'd like. Do you have any specific strategy when it comes to tags on Redbubble? So, as I've mentioned in my previous Redbubble videos, I use a free site called Merch Titan to generate my tags for Redbubble. And I use about 10 to 15 of these on each product. So I highly recommend using that resource. It's super, super helpful and I will link it down below as always. If it's not clear how it works, basically you type in the general theme of your design and the site will generate a whole list of different tag options for you that relate to that theme. Okay, this next one is pretty interesting to me. What did you think of their newly introduced account fees and how did this affect your bottom line? So what do I think about it? I think it's annoying and I understand why a lot of people were upset about this as new artists or even I saw some people being impacted by it who had had their shops for a long time. For me, I was elected to the middle tier, the premium tier, I believe, and this means that it doesn't affect my sales at all. It says account fees do not apply, so that's really awesome because it doesn't impact my revenue whatsoever, but I don't like it that they did that, and I don't think they need to be taking any more 
of their artists sale profits because I mean you can always change your margins but they already take enough because they have to obviously pay for the shipping the production all that jazz to answer your question for me this update did not impact me at all i'm just gonna add that i think this is because i've had that account since march of 2021 and i think then they just think i'm like a premium seller even though i'm not really like i just started three months ago but my sister created a new account for her redbubble shop and she was not that tier she was the first tier which the account fees do apply so keep that in mind if you're going to be starting a new shop maybe if you've already been using redbubble for a few years like i had use that account okay what font do you use for your stickers i considered gatekeeping this but you guys know when i do these videos i try and be as real as possible because a lot of people do gatekeep a lot about redbubble and like the whole work from home scene so I'm not going to be like that and I'm just going to tell you how it is. So some of my favorite fonts are Nectarine, Genti, Bright Retro, and Brusher. That's mostly what I use for all my stickers. I also use them for my YouTube thumbnails. <laughs> this next person asks, Hi, how long did you wait until they public your first design? I created today and my designs are not shown and all other settings are correct. Okay, so I waited around 24 hours for my shop to go live. This is like customary for every new shop and it begins when you upload your first design. So just be patient. And while you're waiting for your designs to go live, make more designs. Uh, you guys are also sweet, but this person was really nice. So they said, yeah, you go girl, I need to sign up. Does it show a dashboard panel like Etsy? I'm interested in seeing that. And is it possible to see a random shop sales like Etsy? So yes and no. Yes to the first point. So there is a dashboard feature on Redbubble, just like Etsy, where you can see activity, you can see your sales, you can see what products you're selling, all that jazz. You can see where a lot of your traffic is coming from, which I think is cool, but it's not that specific. Still good. However, you cannot see how many sales another shop has made like on Etsy, which I like, cause I think that's a bit intrusive. Like, especially if you're just new, and you haven't made any sales or you've made very few sales, I feel like that could impact people's desire to want to buy from you, even though I like supporting small. But Redbubble does not do that. As you can see here on my shop, if you go up here and click dashboard, it brings you to the dashboard I was just talking about, where you can see all of these different things. This next question is very interesting to me as well. They said, this is a great and informative video. Thank you for sharing your process and insights. You're welcome. Have you bought any of your products? Just curious to see if it can help to promote the store on a platform and get more sales for the future. I'm not very good at reading out loud as you can see, but the answer is yes and no, kind of complicated. I do have a script for this video, so I'm gonna read what I wrote down to answer this question, just so I don't miss anything and be very clear with what my answer is. Okay, so when I originally started on Printify, which is an entirely different video, I ordered several of my products to see what the designs would look like on different items. And while this doesn't solve the issue of quality testing for Redbubble, I have ordered tons of Redbubble products in the past, including notebooks, hoodies, and stickers, of course. So I definitely understand the quality and ordering process from Redbubble very, very well as a customer. And as for using them for promotion, just like this hoodie, this phone case that utilize my designs, I only ever use them to promote the design itself, not the product, because the products do come from Printify, not Redbubble. But obviously I know Redbubble products are awesome. And when somebody asks me on my TikTok, like, where did I get this? I say, you can find the design on my Redbubble shop, not the products, because, you know, all the products are available on Redbubble because Redbubble has a giant selection of products, but, you know, colors differ and all that jazz. So, just being real. Prices are a lot lower on Redbubble, though, than they are on Printify. Those were crazy. <laughs> okay, final question. I really hope I can help with this. If you see this video, even though it was a long time ago. Okay, I'm gonna read the question. 
I've been seeing your content for a while and appreciate you hustling at such a young age. Recently, I just started with Redbubble and made an account one week ago and uploaded five designs to my account yesterday. Sorry. I have enabled all the possible products before publishing, but when, I, when I'm visiting my shop section, there are no products showing up. I can only see my designs when I check my profile section. Can you help me a little whether or when can I see my products on my shop? So you should be able to see your products on my shop once the shop goes live after around 24 to 48 hours, I believe for me it was 24 hours. So that doesn't seem like it was your issue because you did say you waited a week. Um, if you are still having this issue and you can't see your products under my shop, definitely send them an email to like the help section of Redbubble because it sounds like a tech issue on their side and yeah, let me know. Give me an update because that kind of sucks and I really hope that you get it worked out and you can sell them at Bubble. That does it for the questions I will be answering in today's video. Those were just a few of the questions I've received on past Redbubble videos and certainly if you have more, comment them down below on this one. I hope you learned something new from this video and if you would like a part two, I will definitely be up for making one. As I mentioned before, my third month Redbubble update will be posted at the end of this week and I have another update. I will be posting a startup tutorial for Redbubble very, very soon as well. So keep your eyes out if you are looking for a Redbubble 101 guide and I'll be telling you all the essentials in starting your shop. Thank you so, so much for all of your love and support on these videos. It makes me so happy and it motivates me to keep posting them because they do take a lot of work, but I absolutely love sharing my knowledge and my experience with you as I continue on this Redbubble journey. I love you. Oh my god, you can see my freckles.